Okay, very well. Uh, close this one here and go back to oops. so this is what we had before from today what I want to talk to you about is 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 indexal additive primes. These are the primes that if you add them to their index, they become another prime. Okay? And so what we'll do today, we're going to find out what the 19th one is. Okay, so God has told us over at this 19, so we obey him. We don't make excuses and talk nonsense. We just obey him from 7430. And we'll go ahead and and see what they are. Okay? So that means that if you add a prime to his index, you're going to get another prime. Okay? So when you get to the 19th one. You notice that it is 98 plus 521. And that is equal to our old friend 619. Okay. So if you add the 98th prime, which is 521, then you are going to get 619. And remember now, this, let's see what information we can get from this. The information that we get So, from this from this we can find out that became worse than the other one. Okay, 98, okay, plus 521 is 619. So, so what we'll do is we'll find out that chapter 19, chapter 19 has 98 verses. Okay, so it immediately tells us that. 98 verses in chapter 19 just by looking at it okay so what how do we know this refers to the Quran what well, 619 happens to be the 114th prime number okay can you believe that I mean this is just just right in front of us so delete some more of these guys here from last week we don't need okay 19 19 times 521 is equal to 98 99 okay 9899 is the count of Aleph La Mim in chapter 2. Okay. 9899 is the frequency of Aleph La Mim. Frequency. Of Aleph La Mim. Aleph La Mim. In chapter 2. In. Surah 2. Surah 2 in the Quran. Okay? So you see, that number of Aleph Lam Mim in that chapter comes directly from 
that statement of 19. This above statement, 1998-521-619. Okay? So we have 19 and we have 521. Okay. Both of these numbers not only prime, they're also twin primes. Okay? It happens that that 19 happens to be the seventh sequential twin prime. 521 happens to be the 48th sequential twin prime. And 748 lonely prime is 9127 okay see that this comes directly from the fact that the coefficient of 19 has to be 521 See, people who are playing with these things as though this is some kind of game, okay, they do not understand what they are dealing with. They have no, no clue, okay? This comes again, as I said, this comes again from the arrogance Show us the source. Show us why you are saying this. Okay, because this these numbers speak for themselves. Okay, they speak for themselves. We're not doing anything here, magic or anything. These numbers are eternal and they are there and they are not going to change. So the idea of 9899, which is the number of frequency of Aleph plus Lam plus Mim in chapter 2, actually is connected to the fact that chapter 9 has 127 verses through this mathematics I just showed you. Okay. And again, this is not going to change. It's going to stay the same no matter what. So again, we have to be very careful, as I said, not to listen to the naysayers. If you do that, you are going to become a disbeliever. You're going to think that somehow their ways are better. Okay? That somehow it's the old, the disbeliever by 19 that we have to worry about, not these other things. But this actually tells you at the latter level, they have to be exactly what it is. It has to be 98, 99, otherwise it would not work. Okay? Right? Now, I'm just going to go on a little bit more and then I'm going to quit because it's going to be too much and some people are going to saturate. So, 19 times 98 is equal to 2888, okay? I'm sorry, not 2888. What am I doing? Eighteen sixty-two. 1862 1862 okay 1862 is 1 is the uh, prime number 2 8 is 19 
index of 19, 6 is the index of 13, and 2 is the index of 3. Multiplication of these prime numbers is going to give us fourteen eighty two. Fourteen eighty two is the number of Aleph Lam Ra in chapter thirteen in the Quran. Okay. If I do the same thing with one four eight two, I'm gonna get two seven nineteen and three. Multiplication of these numbers is going to give me 2 times 7 times 19 times 3 is going to give me 798. This is the number of Kaf, Ya, Ain, Sad in chapter 19 in the Quran. Okay? See now, I see how that line it actually produces the information, which is Quranic parameters that we are seeing it with our own eyes. Okay? Today we are we are telling you how this is generated. Not that we didn't count. Them. Okay. We did not count this. They were generated from from this basic math which is so complicated that no one understands this. And so, so we have to make sure that we also understand this, that this is, this is beyond our capability as mathematicians and, and physicists and whoever they are that are working on these things. But these are the elements that generate the Quran. And this is not to be toyed with. Okay? So we have to be very careful, as I said, okay, and and make sure that, that we don't toy with these things. That this is not just just some kind of thing that if you practice at it and exercise enough, you're going to come up with the right answer. That is not going to work out that way. Okay? Or if you have a committee of scholars that know somehow about these different sciences, branch of sciences, you're going to get it, okay? This number that I showed you at the beginning, number I'm going to I'm going to write it down again so you can see okay. 19 98th prime 521 which is the 98th prime is equal to 619. This is what generates all of these things. Next week, inshallah, I'm going to elaborate more on this, how these numbers are actually generating other parameters of the order. Okay? And why you see that the order of revelation, or order of compilation in the Quran, in total, in uh, initial surahs and uninitial surahs, why they are those numbers, those specific numbers. There are reasons for that. And I'm trying to tell you those reasons, why they are there. Okay. So I'm going to stop here and we'll finish our Jum'ah, Allahul Kabir.